What's up, Flex Button? It's Pat the Great, Patrick Miller, Pat the Flip, whatever you want to call me. I'm back with the first game in the round of eight between, uh, oh, who we got here? We got Negative Edge and Drobe, I think. Yeah, Negative Edge. Drobe is the Zerg on the left side. Negative Edge, a.k.a. Honuk, is the Protoss on the right side, and they're going to be playing on Shakur's Plateau. The first game in the series. Casting this when I probably should be working, but that's okay. And I, uh, I have one of my casts sitting on my lap, so if you hear purring or meowing, that's not actually me. He's my co-caster. Say hey, Bearcat. What's up? How's it going, y'all? It's Friday right now, so you might not watch this on Friday. You're still getting that Friday mindset, though. That fuck you, it's Friday mindset. I was hanging out at home, took my cats to the vet this morning. Poor guy. They're doing all right, though. Got a clean bill of health. Oh, look at you, so cute. Got an Overlord Scout here. Just bring up the uh, units tab and the production tab. See what's going on. Pretty standard, you know, pylon and Overlord. Doobie doobie doo. Negative Edge is building his pylon on the uh, by the ramp of his uh, natural. So we might see an early expo, possibly a forge first. We'll see. No rush, man. It's just Starcraft. Right now, you can't see it, but my cat is acting all adorable and shit. Now, Got a probe going out. We have one probe scout, and then we have another probe building stuff. We are indeed going to see a forge first fast expo. So, an economic play going. Meanwhile, Trobe is taking his assimilator and starting a pool. We'll probably see some pretty early speed links and then a slightly later hatch. Or maybe we won't. I'm, uh, I, I must apologize to you guys for not casting the last game in between Nothing Excess and Haze, but it was actually pretty underwhelming, which is surprising for a game with Ghosts with Nuke and Battle Cruisers. But I, yeah, it was just hella ghetto and my, my shit crashed and I didn't really want to uh, recast the game because it's like half an hour long. I don't want to watch that half an hour long game again. Um, but basically, uh, Nothing Excess lost and got sent to losers and all that fun stuff. You didn't miss much. Sorry, Nothing Excess. We had the expo going down. What else? Still hasn't doesn't have anything to complete the wall off yet. Overlord's coming in, seeing everything. Meanwhile, we have let's see. We have yep, yeah, Zergling speed coming for Drove. We'll see some early feeling. And there's a photon cannon coming down. Note that he still hasn't been able to block off this ramp yet. So some early links could potentially run by if uh, if Negative Edge doesn't get his chance to block off his ramp. That's a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. All kinds of drones looking for shit. For those of you guys new to the game, excuse me. For those of you guys new to the game, uh, this map is interesting because you can never spawn in a cross vertical positions like this. If you are here, you know your opponent has to be here or here, not here. It makes it easier for scouting. A queen about to pop. Hatchery should be going down soon for Grove. Meanwhile, yep, there's a gateway that's just about to complete the wall off. I don't know, I think there should be space for a zealot stand right here, if I'm not mistaken. That might be tight, I don't know, I'm not really good with Protoss wall off. It always looks like their shit is floating. Doesn't really make sense to me. And hatch going down. Check the units tab for a sec. Equal amount of drones. Got a queen and start injecting some larva. Ooh, that sounds sexy. Both assimilators are down for negative edge, but he's only mining out of one of them. Chrono boosting some probes. Not a whole lot in the way of tech or anything yet for either team. Yeah, we're just watching some Starcraft. Got two queens up here now. They'll probably make their way down to the expo. And uh, some link. Maybe we'll see them early aggression. Maybe not. And cybernetic core, yeah, nothing special. Man, so for this weekend, all I have are like plans to play games, and you know, because I want to play like the Stanley Parable, and I just got Bastion, so I want to play that. I haven't tried it out at all. So we've got some links going out. And I, I just haven't had any time, so I've been casting these games. I've been trying to play Starcraft too, and uh, just haven't really had that much time to actually try new shit. It's kind of sad. And like now my friends are trying to make plans like, oh hey Pat, we should hang out. And I'm like, yeah, but I really 
from him playing some games. Oh well. Wow. Cannon. And Adela standing here just in case. No one is gonna fuck with this dude right here. He's got two cannons next to him. And some side blades and shit. Alright, we got so we have roaches. We will soon see roaches. We do not have roaches yet. We also have some lanes just hanging out doing nothing. Um, meanwhile, going Stargate, alright. Stargates can be pretty good against the Zerg player. Phoenixes, ever since they, they shortened their build time, Phoenixes are like total fucking pains in the ass and they build like half as half as slowly as they used to, or twice as fast as they used to. Um, you get two Phoenixes and a Void Ray and you can do some serious fucking damage. But the Overlord sees that, he's like, uh uh. I know what you're trying to fuck with. Ooh, and that stock is gonna get picked off without doing a whole lot. Those lings are not gonna do a whole lot. That's okay, links are pretty much expendable, and it's not like Negative Edge is going to head out soon anyway. Got two expansions up. Let's see, what's going on? We got we got Infestation Pit and a Hydra Dead. I guess I must have missed the upgrade to Lair, that happened pretty early. But Infestors are totally awesome, and uh, so are Hydras. Especially against Protoss Air and Gateway Units. We got Void Rays coming out of the Stargate, and they're going to take out this Overlord. But, uh, also got two more Gateways coming. So, a whole bunch of buildings coming out. Buildings are good. Um, but, Drogue should be more than ready for the air attack. Now my cat is just completely falling asleep in my lap and it's the most adorable shit ever. If I get a webcam, like one that I can actually use to point around, not just the building one on my laptop, I will keep a feed of the cat while I'm casting these games. It's a promise. Ling's hanging out, a potential third for negative edge. Not a whole lot going on quite yet. We got more void rays though. Void rays are cool. Probably boosting some void rays out. Doesn't have much of an army yet, other than the voids, so that's okay. I mean, these roaches are practically worthless against voids anyway, so. But we got hydras and uh, hydra with a range upgrade coming. And with their building. Man, no, no infestors do out yet, but uh, the infestation fit can let you upgrade to a hive, and then you can get even more fun stuff. Oh so. no, I'm, I'm ooh, here, here, here come the void rays. Check it out. Queens are pretty good against voids. Hydras are pretty good against. Ooh yeah, just look at that damn. Look at that sweet, sweet damage. Yeah, I never realized it, but. Void rays look kind of like a big, like, flying dick. Or maybe some kind of crazy, like, female sex age. I don't know. Alright, Phoenix gets pop popped. Those, uh, Hydras will do a number to him. Autumn. Yeah. What else we got going for the Protoss player? Robo facility drop. to stop making out the Stargate. I think you probably realize it's a bad idea. He should have realized it was a bad idea like five minutes ago, but that's okay. So we got Robo and like five gates. He's gonna build some gateway units. Meanwhile, the third is get by or uh, negative or er, sorry, Drogue third is getting picked off. Can he save it? Can he save it? Now nah, well, he's gonna get the hatchery, but he's gonna lose his boys. And honestly, that's a better deal for Drogue than it. Oh, wow! Seventeen hit points, and it's gonna regenerate. Now he just has to stop, like, a zealot or something. Oh, no, there's still one more void here. You can totally just kill that, dude. Kill it. Kill it. You got, you got it right there. Kill it. It's just sitting here, man. 